In this episode of This Dude is a f***ing Weirdo and I really don't get enough paid to edit these videos. People judge me because I slept with 300 people last year. I get a lot of judgment from a lot of different people. Oh no, we're in for a treat on this one. <laughs> we're in for a treat on this one, guys. You're just a few years away from clinical depression. Nothing empowering about this just makes you look easy and an ED catcher being chased by thirsty little boys. Today, Annie's friend Alex will be sharing her thoughts on her mate's escapades. I did wonder how are you sort of safe with all the guys that you have been with last year. I'm Annie. People judge me because I slept with 300 people last year, but I don't care. I first started doing spicy content in 2020. No. I Fans. Oh no. Like, how did we know? Oh no. Yeah, it was during COVID. I saw some girls on TikTok talking about all the money they were making and I thought, that sounds pretty easy. It's now been four years and I absolutely love it. When I first started, I was earning about $9,000 a month and now I earn about $250,000 a month. What? <laughs> Bro, this girl's not even like that bad though. Like she's very, very mid, like below mid. So right now I'm just setting up my my stage, I guess, for my job. I'm pretty simple when it comes to filming content. Man, we're all in the wrong industry. I said it. We're all in the wrong industry, goddammit. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, that was just, that was ambitious of me. I, I Forgive me. Content. I like to just use my tripod and I like to keep things pretty personal, kind of like the girlfriend experience, nothing too crazy. Yeah, ready to go. I first started being open about my sex life online, or maybe nine months ago. And I honestly was just sharing it for fun. But then I was just like sharing my sexual experiences because I thought it was good to break the stigma of women being sexual. And then over time, people started really enjoying my content. So I started deciding to like set myself goals. And that's when I came up with the 300 people in a year. And here we are. <laughs> the most that I've slept with in a day is five. I find a lot of the people that I sleep with on dating apps or in real life. The guys that I've met so far, I- Five in one day? Like what happens? Like, let me, let me, let me try to plan this out. Let's say I'm a female with zussy. Let's just say that. Okay. I'm a female with zussy. I'm her right now. And I'm just like cleaning my ass after my shower. Hour passes by, I probably eat some food, and then I'm just like. Big O, you're like the woman we just pay you with subs when you tell us to. How can you be like that, Big O? I'm trying to give it some thought right now. Five men in one day. Why did I even do the rose remarks? May God forgive me, stuff the body. Let me hear what she has to say. Who just donated? <clears throat> no, no, I don't tell you what to do anything, Mr. Gaming. Don't do that. Thank you for the five dollars though, brother. I wouldn't say that I would see myself being with them long term, but if I do find the right person along my journey, then that's something that I would definitely consider. I've had like very mixed reactions to my sleeping with 300 people in a year. Some people have been super supportive, like go girl, you do you, slay. And then I've had the majority of people judging me, saying that I'm riddled with this and that I'm not safe and that I'm disgusting. I think that there's definitely a stigma with women being sexual as opposed to men. I think people accept men as being sexual beings, whereas women are seen as non-sexual beings, which is incorrect. Whenever I post something on Instagram, I definitely get berated in the comments. Here are just a few of the comments that I tend to get. Really? Like, really? Is that all you can boast about? What a sad life. You must be living. Grow a few years old and most of these desperate people will stop coming and giving you money. You're just a few years away from clinical depression. Nothing empowering about this just makes you look easy. And an catcher being chased by thirsty little boys. The body is good, but the head not so much. <laughs> the body is good, but the head not so much. As plain Jane trying to be hot with makeup. Much as plain Jane trying to be hot with makeup. What a warped mentality. Definitely was dropped as a baby or a by an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <sighs> 
I honestly don't let the judgment that I get online really bother me that much. Sometimes I laugh at it because I think it's hilarious. When you do what I do for work, you have to have a thick skin. When I first started doing adult content, my friends and family were definitely concerned. They were worried about my future, also worried about the hate that I was. Bigo, when you ban people like Adore Tan Ben, when the woman says, say, well, that's not the same, tell us how to become like that. Also, I'd fuck the blonde girl even if she had 300 men them. Yeah, because gaming, if you want to watch the Zantem, bro, if you want to watch me play all rest, then do that. If you said the N word or you say something racist, little brother. And what did you, what the rock did you say the last sentence? I'd rock the blonde girl even if she had 300 men them. I mean, th this female is just a pile of pleasure. That's what she is, right? She, she, she advocates to be a pile of pleasure. She is a pile of pleasure and she walks as if she's a pile of pleasure. So you saying that, you, you know, yeah, she is just a nut to you. Yeah, I could see that. I was getting online. I'm about to call mom and see what she thinks about my love life. When I first told her about what I do, well, technically I didn't tell her. She found out through a news article on Facebook and she was very shocked. It wasn't the best way for her to find out. Hey mom. What did you think when I first told you about the content that I make? Well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> I was online and there was a newspaper and I thought, why is my Annie in the newspaper? So I started reading and I didn't know what OF was and it took me a little while to accept. Did you have any reservations and if so, what were they? Yes, of course I did. Um, my first concern was that you would reach a certain age and what would you do afterwards? Mm -hmm. But of course you've proven again that you know exactly what you're doing <laughs> and I don't have any concerns anymore. What are your thoughts on the number of guys that I slept with last year? All I can say is I know you very well and I feel like you know what you're doing. Perhaps you are trying to show that a woman can have control of what she does in her life. Bro, what is she saying, bro? 300 is control? That's crazy. Good shit, mom. W mom. Good shit. That's a goat right there. Yes, ma'am. Man. Man. Is that, is that, that's sheep, actually. That she can say no, she can say yes. Mm -hmm. Consent is such an issue at the moment. Maybe you guys notice how there's no dad in this, by the way? Notice. I want <laughs> notice that they, they didn't call her dad. They called her mom, by the way. Where's the father at, gentlemen? Where's the father at? This is fatherless behavior after all. Where's the father at? <laughs> Maybe it's not bad for men to see that a woman can make decisions about herself. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So would the child service stop you from doing what you do? No, I don't think they ever would. I mean, I'm just doing my own thing. I've been dealing with hate now for probably three years since I started my spicy page. Mum, would you ever want to change what I do for a living? I want you to choose what you do in life. I trust you. Whatever you choose to do, I'll be there for you. Aww. All right, Mum, I've got to go now, but I love you. Oh, I love you so much. Bye, Mum. Bye. I am just getting some drinks prepared because my friend... <laughs> Call the father, little bro. <laughs> Alex Call your is father. coming over. My name is Alex. I'm 33 years old. I am one of Annie's close friends. We actually lived together last year. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Order, she's built like the plank off of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Why would you say that though? You're such an ass. What did you think when you first heard about my content creating? I think I was a little bit shocked and surprised at first, mm -hmm. the way I had found out about it. We had only been living together for about a month. Yeah, literally. So, you know, I kind of understand that you wouldn't want to just come out and say it. It was also an awkward thing to just come out yes, and say. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but after you told me about it, I was totally fine with it. How did you feel once you found out about all the guys I'd been with last year? I think because initially the way that I found out about it was from an Instagram post, <laughs> which did surprise me a little bit. But then when I approached you about it and you were sort of really open with me mm -hmm. and honest, there was probably a little bit of a side to me that I think safety issues, like right. I did wonder how are you sort of safe with 
all of the guys that you have been with the last year. I feel like I'm very safe when it comes to it because obviously with my work I have to be because if I were to yeah. film with other creators, yeah. you can only film with creators if you're clean because we do like full PI checks every two weeks and obviously practice like using protection, like yeah. condoms, etc. So yeah. I feel like I do it very well, but obviously there's always risk. And so I get yeah, that, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Do you ever worry about what people think? It only bothers me what my close friends and family think. Everyone outside of that, I could not care less. Yeah. So we're gonna go get drinks. Do you wanna go get ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. So do you usually approach a guy that- Why is she so short? I, feel like, I wish I was a little bit shorter, Chad. I feel like I'm mad tall compared to everybody else. Do you like the look of or do you wait for them to approach you? I feel like I definitely do a little bit of both. Like, if I see a guy that I like, I'll approach him and maybe like do it at the bar so it's more casual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, I feel like I'll just let them approach me. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll get might give them the eyes from across the room and then they'll come over yeah. and uh, yeah. And what about your handbag? What kind of things would you put in your handbag for a night out? Definitely a condom. Always got to be safe. Yes. Maybe two. Safe. Safe. <laughs> maybe two. Maybe two for one night out. Get some. <laughs> yup. Yeah. That respect her. Stink case. Yes. Um, and then just my makeup and my ID. Yeah. And I'm set to go. Great. Yeah. Damn, she goes in multi chat. Multi zone. Yeah. She does a single PK. In the future, I am hoping next year to hit 600 in a year. So we'll see how we go this year and then maybe that's my next year's challenge. I would say to people who judge women for their sex lives, what's the difference between a man sleeping with five people in a day and a woman sleeping with five people in a day? I just, I don't understand why when a man does it, they celebrate him and they think he's a legend, but when a woman does it, we're called names and ridiculed and made fun of. It's just not fair. The advice that I'd give to other women who want to I'm not gonna lie though, like, what is she saying, bro? Walla, what is she saying? Like, in, in, in both ways, it's obviously the same exact shit. She's just justifying dog shit, Walla, she is. A lock that can be opened by different keys isn't worth anything. But a key that can open many locks is.